question is raised, how much does the, the racial factor play into it? And the racial factor plays into everything about what color somebody is. You can't straighten out that Middle East situation. I've said this repeatedly on this particular uh, uh, show and, and on every other show I've ever been on when the case, when this business about the so-called Middle East comes up. It's nothing but something that's tailor-made to cause endless confusion. And when you have endless, when something is tailor-made to cause endless confusion, you back away from it. You and, and you call it just what it is, because wherever you find on this planet maximum confusion going on, and when you say Middle East, you're talking about maximum confusion. And then you look and see that our first thing you look for, are there any non-white people involved, and are these non-white people being killed? Any people that's classified as non-white, black, brown, red, yellow, beige, tan, if, are they involved in it? Then in the system of white supremacy, which is the dominant system, political system on the planet, you always say that they are to blame. For anybody who's being harmed unjustly, and in that so-called Middle East situation, many people are being harmed. And so then the usual suspects are the white supremacists if there are any non-white people being harmed. Now, if there was no non-white people being harmed, then you can say it might be something else. It might be religion. It might be whatever. It might be somebody's after all. No, but you better believe it's all about color if any non-white people are being harmed in a substantial way. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing you go and look at. Are most of the people who are being harmed classified as non-white, or do they function as non-white? And if they are, the usual suspects are the white supremacists, and as long as that so-called Middle East thing has been a dilemma, you better believe the white supremacists are behind it, and it's going to continue as long as you have the system of white supremacy worldwide, because that is a experimental station. Mm -hmm. That's what I've said repeatedly. That whole Middle East thing is just an experimental station for what? To spread more and more confusion. They do little experiments there, then they spread that type, same type of confusion all over the world. And wow. And then Yes, that, that, that's the theory that I have, and mm -hmm. I haven't seen anything to refute it, mm -hmm. because it's just going, regardless of where you pick it up, regardless of who goes there or who tries to say anything about it, why is it that it discontinues decade after decade after decade? No let up. It's just nonstop. Nonstop what? Confusion, death, destruction. And wherever you find that, and it involves non-white people, that's a white supremacist experiment, just like a Tuskegee experiment. That's what it is. Yes, sir. In making death and confusion. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And so you back away from it because you can't straighten it out as long as you have the system of white supremacy. You have to get rid of the system of white supremacy and or the white supremacists decide on their own, well, we're not going to use a so called Middle East as an experimental station for misusing non white people. We're going to find another location for it, a central location, and, and then study what goes on cause and effect on a day-to-day -day basis of how you can just keep confusion going endlessly, endlessly, because that's right now, that's what it's set up to do. 